Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our UAG Grand Disbursement Update. Uh, a lot of things are just uh, unfolding now. The international community have come out and they are talking about documents, talking about many things. You need to listen to this update to 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 draw conclusion. You know, we are just praying, Sha. Let, let this month be the disbursement month. You know, when I listened to this, I was kind of shocked. A lot of things have gone around. A lot of things have gone wrong. Ken have done a lot of things. And those with him have really done a lot of things. So coming down to speak and to apologize, that's not what we need. We need this boss, mate. Listen to it. We'll see at the end. The legendary Ajaya Dugoke, you're welcome to the hot seat, to the church, sir. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Michael. Thank you for having me on your program. You are doing fantastically well, sir. In Thank fact, you very much, sir. I must commend you, sir. Your time, your energy, the magnetic you are putting to play to make uh, information spread. We sincerely appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. Legendary, uh, you heard two versions of my chat show. One with uh, the legendary Admin Ellis and one with the legendary, the grandfather in the Grants Community, Reverend Wagachuku. What is your take on the the comments from Admin Ellis? What are your dissatisfactions right. about him? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Michael. Uh, I, I sincerely want to say this to Nigerians, especially to Grants Community. I am not trying to take sides. I'm not trying to be a selective sinner by actually supporting one and scooping the other. No, that's not my intention. But I have this kind of person that wants to call a spade a spade. I don't know if you get what I'm saying, Mr. Michael. Yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. if you have to look at critically, the idea of the international community is an organized criminal an organized crime let me tell you i i, I want uh, before i go directly to the question i was privileged to speak with Ayogi Dion, one of the members of the uh, so-called international communities and he made a lot of revelation to me it was it was from there i got to know that Apples to care before that time has not been as actually no uh, one Kevin that has been a member of his church before that. Time. I am not trying to support the friend that you but the friend that you is just a victim of himself. The Bible said, Pray and the world. Watch food of fortunately the referring back to cook. I, I don't want to say he's not praying, but he's not watchful because we did not calculate simultaneously the antecedent of how Kevin Cordy, how the young international community came to existence. Believe me, sir. Can you hear me? It's happened like that, you know, when you have a phone call, then the whole network will go off, depending on the kind of, you know, environment you find yourself. But uh, legendary Ajaya Dogoke, I'd like you to come back to the chat show. <clears throat> uh, before that, uh, let me welcome uh, the legendary Reverend Wagachuku on the hot seat, sir. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, I am a Michael. Yeah. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, sir. You heard uh, Admin Ellis' version of uh, his response to my chat show with you. What is your take on what he said? He said, uh, you know, uh, you totally lied and uh, you didn't answer my questions. Um, the question I hit you up with, sir, you know, you danced around it. The one I asked you about, you submitting a, 
uh, an NGO name. So the ones he was compiling for Apostle Ken. What is your take on that, sir? Um, I am a Michael. I will ask you. Did I answer that question in that my my conversation with you or not? Mr. Michael, I am back if I'm allowed to continue my talking. All right, sorry, sorry, sir. Okay, uh, let me uh, answer. Uh, okay, uh, legendary uh, Reverend Wagachuku, let's pause a little, a little bit for Ajayi, sir. All right, Ajayi, go on, sir. All right, so like I was saying, I spoke comprehensively with your video. It was then he made me realize the fact that he himself was full back for today. That the money, the said money they sent to him, did not even use 24 hours in his return. And as time to be quoted, I can defend this statement. Let Ayo Gideon come out to say he did not tell me that. Now, let's now look at it. Uh, Admi Ellis was never a part, was never part of international communities. Admi Ellis is not a Hello. Uh, sorry, it's like we have a problem can with you your phone, me? sir. Yeah, we can hear you, sir. Go on. So, Admi Ellis is not is not part of the grant uh, under. Is not part of the international communities. How did he know that it was twenty four million naira that to K? Now let's now assume that that Reverend Baratuku made hundred million naira from that money from the four international communities, and he transferred twenty four million naira to Apostle Chen. Where is the document today? Why are we crucifying one person and we are using our hand to rob the head of the other person? If A is a criminal, then B is a criminal. The same Admi Ellis now went back to Apostle Ken. His ideology, his sense of reading did not come to him that he should go back to Apostle Ken and ask Apostle Ken, where is the document of this so-called international community? But because he was looking for where he wanted to run on that, he kept silent. You expose A and you are covering B. No, who does that? I wish he can come online and come and defend a lot of questions that want to ask him. As far as one community is concerned, international community is a scam. Reverend Barachuku play a vital role in all of this, even though he has come to apologize, the Nigerian and ground community are not convinced. Apostle Ken, who called himself a uh, grant and laugh and country director, he is the one who claimed he has the name in the document. And that document was the reason why the member came out to say they should help him and give him money so that they will collect money. In today, we support the of that international community. Even that the 24 million they are talking about, he has not come out to admit that truly they gave him this money. He has not come out. Maybe the money is not even up to 24 million. We don't even know. So who is me? At me at least. Is it the spokesperson of UAAG or the spokesperson of Apple to Ken to come up and say it's only 24 million dollars that was given to Apple to Ken? Now, where is the result of that 24 million? And why are they not discussing now? Why is the do in fact, the NGOs and the stakeholders who contributed that money deserve to see the document. Where is the document? Somebody sits down somewhere and claims because we are they, they are I, I, I don't I don't want to use a derogatory word and he starts saying trash. Because he thinks he can speak with you. Like we are all novices. But for the fact that I I, I, I remember who admitted his mistake and apologized to Nigeria. What about the crime Apostle Ken has committed? He scammed the old Nigeria. And the worst, the worst of it is, 
Adelis is a benefit, the beneficiary from this camp money. Which who employed at Ms. Adelis in Abuja that went to lodge in Abuja? They were using Nigerian money to lodge for one hotel to another. They were sending Nigerian money to their family, and yet they did not report. And yes, he had the audacity to come out and say somebody only paid 24 million. See, si. yes, sir. It is just a case of a a, a, a taco holding a uh, kettle black. If he, he see, I expect that man to go and bury himself in shame. Just the way the friend that who went on Ezra and went sober for some time in shame, had me at least opposed to Ken to bury just head in shame. Not come out of vomit rubbish. He said he's part of his school in Abuja. He's one of the officials. Where is his boss meant to be? Is it that people no longer have to? And their children and their families are watching them, disgracing themselves on social media. Did they even know the meaning of participants? That whatever goes around comes around. So because the man cannot avoid to give him the money they scam the whole Nigeria, he now came out to, to actually bite the food that food in. Uh, which means they are part of this camp. Uh, he himself is part of his camp for him to have come out to give us the accurate account or how much money that was given or how much money that was given which is part of the open protest mr michael i wish i listen to this and you host me and him to come and defend a lot of questions i want to ask him and the jury i want to ask him but if not let him shut up and go and settle whatever you have with the very bad people in their private place not coming to blackmail or insult the Bengal people because he's looking for popularity. They are all scammers. So if he says the Bengal people is a scammer, he himself is a scammer. Apostle Ken is the greatest scammer. That's all I have to say. All right, I was just laughing at the background. Anyways, straight up, no eyes. You just felt that from the legendary Ajayi Adegoke. He's a comrade, he's a fighter. He has the spirit of the comrade, spirit of comrade in his body, in his veins, blood system flowing. You can feel that. So, guys, that is the update, man. A lot of things are unfolding. We'll see you at the other end, guys. Thanks a lot. Do subscribe. See you.